family of God, a few weeks back we began looking to the Lord Jesus Christ for his grace, for his strength to help us overcome what sometimes is relational stress or ministry fatigue. We began with realizing that sometimes we are overwhelmed and when we feel overwhelmed that we remember Christ and his grace, his peace, his promises, his power, and his people. Then there was a slight shift, and when you feel alone, that we remember Jesus Christ and his family. Looking at Christ from Philippians 2, we looked at his encouragement, but also his example. Then last week, we began to realize that at times in relationship and in ministry, we become sad. And when we feel sad, to remember Christ and his mercy. Last week, we thought specifically about his suffering. Today, we remember his support. Our scripture comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. I read verses 3 to 5. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. You know, think about his support. We praise God as he proves his compassion and comfort in the love of Jesus Christ, his Son. We praise God as he provides his strength and comfort to his people so that we may endure every trial that we face. We praise God as he gives assurance and he creates something good out of our suffering. Yes, God is such a God of redemption. He even redeems our trial. God uses our sufferings to help us better care for those we are called to serve. One way he equips us is by conforming us to the image of his son. This is from Romans 8, 28, 29. You know the verses. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be first born among many brothers. As we mature in our love for Jesus Christ and the experience of his comfort in our sufferings, the love of Christ overflows through our care to others around us. With the endurance that only he provides, we demonstrate the mercy and love of Christ to others. As we look to the future with all of God's people, we share in the comfort and love of Jesus Christ and know that our eternal future is safe in the hands of Jesus. As others suffer, we are able to minister his hope to others so that they may also know the security of his love and the gift of eternal life. And remember, dear family of God, right when we think this is not possible, we affirm our faith. From Ephesians 3, verses 20 and 21, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine, according to his power that is worked within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, there are times in ministry and in relationship when we are overwhelmed and we are sad. We pray that you would help us to remember Jesus and his mercy. Help us to know his sufferings, that he suffered so much for us that we might have life, that we would have it abundantly. Help us to remember his support, that as he supports us, then we may now go and love others unconditionally with the love of Christ. We pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Dear family of God, may the Lord bless you and keep you this day and forevermore. 